All right, welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle discrete math truth table. So let's start with the basics. Ano ba yung truth table na to? So we have the first statement, ito yung P, and the second statement will be Q. So mapapansin mo, ito yung basic truth table natin, P and Q. So we have true and true or false lang naman to. So first one, sa P, that's true. Second is true. And third one is false, false. So Pag yung P and Q na yan, that's true in the first statement, second statement mo is true. So, sa pangalawa naman, ang first statement mo is true at ang second statement mo ay false. Pwede rin ang unang statement mo ay false at ang second statement mo ay true. At lastly, yung fourth statement mo ay dalawang false. Alright, second one, let's tackle negation. So, pag negation, i-negate mo lang siya. So, from true, nagiging false siya. At pag false naman, true na siya. So, ang kita natin, pag sinagutan natin yan, Ang first row, that will be dalawang false. Kasi dalawang true, so magiging dalawang false na siya. Sa pangalawang row naman, so true yung unang statement sa, niya, sa P. So yung, yung negate mo siya, magiging false. At yung sa Q naman, yung false magiging true. And gawin na rin natin yung sa, sa remaining. So third row natin, from false, yung P magiging true. And yung Q na true, magiging false. At lastly, Yung sa last statement na dalawang false, pag ninegate mo siya, dalawang true na siya. Alright, so third topic natin is disjunction. Or, ang logical operator natin dito ay V. So, ang technique lang dito, if it is true in one or both of the statements, then it is true. Basta at least isa sa statement ay true, so true na ang sagot natin. So, sagutan natin siya sa first row. Ang P ay true, ang Q ay true. So, true na yun. Basta isa lang. So, second row, true din. Third row, kahit false ang una mo, basta may isang true, so true na yan. Sa fourth row natin, false ang sagot kasi walang true eh. At we need at least one true para maging true ang sagot. Alright, so ang next topic natin will be about conjunction, N. So, ang logical operator natin dito ay yung inverted na V. Okay? So, ito yung N. So, ang technique dito, both statements must be true to earn a true answer. So, kung may isa lang, hindi pwede. Kung dalawa silang false, then false yun. So, let's start. So, sa first row natin, parehas silang true. So, ang sagot natin dito ay true. Sa pangalawa at pangatlong row, so, isa lang yung true. So, kailangan kasi dalawa silang true. So, false yan. And lastly, yung pang-apat na row natin, dalawa silang false. And we need both true. Para maging true. So, false ang sagot. Alright, so fifth topic tayo. Let's go to the implication or conditional statement. Implication at ang logical operator natin dito is yung arrow. Okay? If the first statement is true, then the second should also be true to earn a true answer. If the first statement is false, regardless if the second is true or false, it will earn a true answer. So, ang technique lang dito, Para makakuha ka ng true, dapat both are true. Or, basta ang first statement mo ay false, kahit na true yan or false yung second mo, true na yan. Kung is, ang first statement mo ay true at false ang sumunod, false na yon So, sagutan natin. So, first row natin, that will be true. Second, that will be false. Kasi first mo ay true, dapat true din yung pangalawa. Eh, hindi. So, false na yan. And third and fourth, basta false ang unang statement, true na yun. Alright, six topic tayo. Double implication. At ang symbol natin dito, logical operator natin, will be yung, yung arrow. Double head arrow. Okay? If both statements are equivalent, then earn a true answer. So kung pareha silang true or pareha silang false, then true ang sagot. So sagutan natin, first row natin at fourth row, dahil pareha sila, yung isa true, yung isa pareha false, then true yun. Yung second and third size, hindi sila equivalent, or hindi sila equal, so false ang sagot natin. Alright, so seventh topic tayo, we have the XOR logic. So, ang logical operator natin dito is yung plus na may circle. Ang technique lang dito, if there is only one true in the two statements, then it will earn a true answer. So, kailangan lang isang true, either one of the two statements, true ng sagot mo. So, sagutan natin. Ang first and second, first and fourth mo, I'm sorry, that will be false. Kasi, kailangan isa lang yung true eh. 
Alright, so yung second and third statement natin, dahil isa lang yung true nila, either one of the two statements, so they earn a true answer. Alright, so next one, papakita ko lang sa inyo yung summary table para may guide kayo. So ito yung basic ng discrete math natin sa logic. So color-coded naman siya, so it will be a guide for you pag sumagot na tayo ng mga, at sumagot na tayo ng mga examples. Alright, so let's move on to the examples and solutions. So first question natin, P tapos or negation ng Q. So paano natin gagawin to? So first one, set up mo muna yung basic truth table. So mapansin mo yung P and Q, so first row natin, dalawang true. Second row natin is, yung una is true and false. And third row is false and true, and the last row will be dalawang false. Na-set up mo siya. Next mo naman gawin is, inigate mo na yung Q according to the question. So inigate mo yung Q, so yung true magiging false, and false is true, and that will be yung third row will be false, and lastly, true yung sagot. So babalik tayo mo lang naman eh. Dapat si mo, binalak ko muna yung sa column ng P. Para hindi kayo malito kasi gusto ko lang makita sa inyo na ininegate ko lang yung Q. So, magpo-focus lang tayo dun sa pag-negate ng Q. Alright, next one. So, buto na tayo sa mismo sa tanong. So, mayroon na tayong P, ito yung first statement, at or daw ng negation ng Q. So, Ibablock ko muna yung column ng Q para mag-focus tayo sa P and negation ng Q. Para masagutan natin yung P or negation ng Q. So again, pag or, that is at least one statement is true. So, sa first row natin, that is true kasi may true na tayo sa una pa lang. Second one, true and true, so ang sagot ay true. Third statement natin, dalawang false, and we need one true lang eh. At least one true. So, false ang sagot. For true natin, we have false and true. So, that will be true. At least one, at least one statement ay true. At ibalik ko lang sa dati. So, pag pinakonstruct kayo ng true table according to this question, ito yung sagot. Alright. So, second question. Paano naman pag ganito? So, may parenthesis ka. P or negation ng Q. Tapos or negation ng Q. Again, step one. Lagay mo muna yung basic truth table. Tapos, isa-isayin natin. So, dumatay siya sa negation ng Q. So, madali lang yan. Balik tayo mo lang naman. So, pag true, gawin mo false. So, ang sagot ay false, true, false, true. Next, dahil meron na tayong P sa statement, pwede natin sagutan na yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, P or negation ng Q, that will be, yung unang row ay true. Kasi at least one dapat ay True. So, second row naman, that will be true din. Kahit dalawa yan, basta isa lang kailangan natin. Third row is false, kasi walang true. And last statement natin, last row, I mean, that will be true also. Kasi false true. Alright, so dahil nasagutan na natin yung sa loob ng equation, we can now solve the whole equation. So, P or negation ng Q, I mean, quantity na yan, or let ng negation ng Q. So, first one, we have, meron tayo sa P or negation ng Q, we have true. And the second one is false. So, we need at least one true. So, ang sagot dito ay true. Second one, we have dalawang true. So, at least one, di ba? So, the answer will be true also. Third one is dalawang false. So, we will have an answer of false then. And lastly, dalawang true siya. So, you will have an answer of true. So, pakita ko lang yung table. So, ito yung magiging itsura pag pinakonstruct kayo ng table with this kind of equation. Alright, so question number 3. We have the quantity P XOR negation ng Q and negation ng P. At implication sa Q. Step 1 natin, gawin mo muna yung basic truth table. Alright? So, step 2 naman, tuwi na natin yung nasa loob muna ng parenthesis. Negate muna tayo ng Q. So, negation ng Q, so that will be from true to false. So, false, true, false, true. Madali lang, di ba? Next naman, yung P, XOR, negation Q. Again, ano ba yung XOR? If there is only one true statement, then true yun. Pag dalawa yung true or dalawa yung false, false ang sagot. So, first row natin, that will be true. Kasi, isa lang dapat yung true. 
Pangalawa, dalawa silang true. So, false yan. Pangatlo, dalawang false. So, false ang sagot. And lastly, yung fourth true natin is false and true. At least, there should only be one true. So, ang sagot ay true. Alright, next step naman natin, ininegate naman natin yung P. So, madali lang naman siya. Yung, that will be false, false, true, true. Alright, so next one, makukuha na natin yung nasa loob ng bracket. So, yung PXR negation Q and negation P. So, magpo-focus lang tayo dito dun sa golden red para masagutan natin yung nasa dark blue. So, again, for N, ang logical operator natin yung inverted V, dapat both must be true to earn a true. So, yung first, second, and third mo, dahil hindi sila true parehas, so ang sagot dito ay false. Kaso yung sa last statement natin, yung sa fourth row, para silang true, so you will earn a true answer. Alright, so last part na tayo ng tanong. So this one, this will be tricky, alright? So again, our first statement ay yung nasa dark blue. Okay, kasi ito yung nasa equation, di ba? P, X, or negation Q, and negation ng P. At ang second will be yung, yung Q lang, alright? Although yung Q ay nauna siya sa table, so remember, magbe-base tayo dun sa equation natin. So again, pag implication, if the first statement is true, the second one should be true also to get a true answer. Pag first statement point true, tapos ang second one false, then false ang sagot dun. At lastly, kung ang first statement mo ay false, regardless kung true or false yung second statement mo, makakakuha ka ng true answer. So again, our first statement here yung naka-dark blue and second statement yung naka-green. So again, sa implication, if the first statement is false, regardless if the second statement is true or false, you will get a true answer. So, ang answer dito dun sa tatlong rows na to na may false, true na ang sagot. However, dun sa fourth statement mo, ang first mo dito ay true. Dark blue ang una, di ba? At ang second mo ay false. So again, that will be a false answer. At lagay ko lang mismo din yung table na buo. Para pag pinakonstruct kayo ng table, ito yung magiging sagot. And that's the end of the lesson about discrete math truth tables. If you have any questions or if you have any comments or clarifications, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.